As I mentioned in the introductory lecture, the work of technical communication professionals is often more focused on editing other people's content than on creating their own. One of the consequences is that we must work at delivering effective feedback to content creators. I'm gonna take a few minutes to provide you with some guidance for the many review activities you'll be asked to do in the course. When it comes to giving feedback, it's almost always a good idea to begin with something positive. Here's an example. I admit it's sometimes difficult to find something positive, but it's better to say nothing than lie. Perhaps the single most important thing you can do to deliver effective content is to make sure that you focus on a specific perception that you had with the content. For instance, I felt lost when. You own your perceptions. No one can tell you that they're wrong. Follow the statement about your perception with an evaluation that focuses on the specific content that caused your reaction, never on the creator. In this case, the background of the interview wasn't clear. Finally, try to help the content creator address any issues you identify by offering a suggestion for action with a payoff statement. Here you've got, you could say a couple of words about, right? And then to get readers on your side right away. If you follow the formula, content creators are much more likely to see you as a partner rather than a judge. There are more and less effective ways to accept feedback as well. Uh, a professional welcomes the chance to improve the content that they create. And if you're interacting face to face, there's a bunch of nonverbal signals you can give that you're actively listening. So eye contact, squaring up to the speaker, head nods. If you're not face to face, then you have to rely on verbal behavior by doing things uh, listed here, for instance. It's always a good idea to acknowledge that you received information, even if you're not ready to say what you think about it yet. My own rule is to wait 24 hours before responding to any criticism that causes me to have an emotional reaction. Um, it's always helpful to paraphrase what the messages we, uh, what the messages are that we received to make sure we understood. Also a good idea to ask relevant questions. In other words, questions that are relevant to whatever the uh, criticism was about. Finally, this is super important. You should always thank anyone who takes time to review your work. 